a booklet that you have to read before you donate blood. You go to the registration table, you sign in, they give you this book. It kind of, it gives you specifications as to, you know, like if you've been to certain countries or you've done certain things, if you should donate blood or not. Um, it also specifies that you can't uh, donate blood within like six weeks of donating blood another time. Um, like I said, it, it gives specific countries and, and height, heights and weights and other specifications as well. With Lori, she's a supervisor for the Red Cross. Hi, Lori. Hi. Would you like to tell us a little bit about the, the Red Cross and the donation process? Well, we are always in need of blood of all types, especially O negative. And right now, it's more important than ever to donate because the Red Cross has been sending some blood down to the it's very simple to come in and donate. Come in, we ask you to read some information to make sure you're qualified to donate. Bring some ID with you, and then we'll take you through a few simple steps, such as getting some personal information, doing a few quick physical checks like blood pressure and pulse. After that, we'll take you in, draw your blood, and then comes the fun part, the juice and cookie. But everybody benefits from donating. You feel a great sense of gratification after you donate, and we certainly are grateful to have anybody that thinks they can be part. Oh, that's great. Now, a common misconception, or, or should I say a hopeful misconception, is that people tend to think that donating blood hurts. Well, there might be a moment of quick discomfort, but it is not uncomfortable the whole time you are donating. You should be quite comfortable. The actual process of giving blood generally takes anywhere between, say, 5 to 15 minutes with probably 6 or 7 being the average time. Okay, well thank you for clearing that up. So students, just so you know, it doesn't hurt like everyone says it does. It is very important if they plan to donate to drink a lot of water the day of and the okay. day before. Water, juice, anything not caffeinated. That way you will feel better when you donate. You don't want to be dehydrated. It's not a bad idea to have something to eat too with the liquids of the muscle support. Well, thank you so much for all your information and your time. Well, thank you for coming in and asking you. about us. <laughs> 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 Great. Now, this was friendly and everything. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much for your time.